Does Michigan need to change the way we vote? That's really the question being posed by Proposal 2 on this year's ballot. It would mean changes for early voting, in-person voting, and vote counting. Grant Herms breaks down exactly what Proposal 2 says and what would happen if it should pass. Prop 2 is a sweeping change to Michigan's elections. In the wake of the 2020 election and disproven claims it was stolen, the scrutiny of how we cast ballots and count those ballots is now on the ballot. It would recognize the fundamental right to vote without harassment or intimidation. It would allow voters to vote with their ID or by continuing to sign an affidavit saying they are who they say they are. Something state law already allows, but this would make it part of the state's constitution. It would also allow for nine days of early voting, a right to register for a single absentee ballot for all future elections, along with state-funded postage for all votes by mail. It would also require drop boxes for every Michigan town and city. After the voting, it would make so only election officials could conduct post-election audits and would require canvassers to certify results based only on official records. Finally, it would require donations to fund elections to be disclosed. Now, some of these measures are in direct response to the 2020 election. Things like what we saw here at Huntington Place and claims of fraud, like stuffing ballot boxes or outside money with ties to Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg's so-called Zuckerbucks that were meant to help cities run their elections. The proposal codifies in the Constitution existing practices. Um, so a lot of it is just saying, hey, we're taking this out of the legislative hands and inscribing it into the Constitution so it can't change down the road. While those are broad, good practices, Witt also says the proposal could prevent a challenge down the line. So we have this proposal that's a laundry list of things being enshrined into the Constitution, which I don't know if this is the best way to do elections, because in five years we might find a new best practice, but we'd have to change the Constitution to be able to implement it. So I think it prevents some, presents some hurdles, but it does provide certainty that these are the rules in which we're going to vote. All right, our Grant Herms reporting. So there's a lot there. You can always turn to our voter guide, though, at clickondetroit.com. Information on the local races, the ballot proposals, as well as a link to find and view what your ballot will look like, look like on Election Day, or if you're uh, having one sent to you by absentee. It's on the elections page, which you can find by clicking Decision 2022 in the top left drop-down menu.